uh, hi so welcome back uh, <coughs> in this video we will see the uh, implementation of uh, this problem uh, in java so uh, so those of you who came directly to this video i'll add the uh, problem statement video descript uh, link in the description uh, so uh, so actually uh, if we see the solution is only this much so <coughs> what is happening so for example bot1 is having so this is uh, bot1 is the head okay so um, bot1 is the head uh, so we are just uh, realigning the next pointer so killing in the sense we are realigning the next pointer so for example if bot1 kills bot2 that means it is uh, just uh, changing its uh, next uh, reference from bot 2 to bot 3 this is what we are doing here so uh, so for example head bot 1 is the head so head uh, next not equal to head so if you notice uh, so uh, because this is realignment of the next address finally the last bot which will remain that will contain the address of uh, uh, address in its next field uh, his own address okay so for example bot1 killed bot2 and it is pointing to bot3 bot3 killed bot4 it is pointing to bot1 now bot1 will kill bot3 and the next address of this will be bot3's next address which is bot1 only okay so yeah, we'll get to know uh, don't worry so those of you who wants to try on their own the implementation they can uh, take this as a reference and do the things those of you who want to continue and see the actual implementation can continue with this video okay so uh, okay let's create one class Yeah. 
the data structure for this common statement so uh, let's take a head which will point to the current uh, which will point to this first uh, element starting element and let's take a uh, current node which will contain the current uh, the last inserted node Okay. and this current uh, node will help us in making this uh, uh, list circular as well so uh, what we are doing here node as you could we are creating a new node for uh, this part okay now we have created this uh, node what we will do so um, so, so in the first uh, iteration, so first in the first iteration, uh, we will assign the uh, if i is equal to zero. What we are doing, we are uh, we are pointing, uh, we are assigning the head to this node. Okay, now head will point to this node. Okay, and temp also sorry uh, current node will also point to this node okay and now in the next iteration so we have got the part cool uh, in the next iteration i is equal to one what we are doing so as we are doing we are just So what we are doing in the next iteration again we created a node okay and we also uh, current node next now will point to that node okay and current node will move to that node okay and now it's no more pointing to the head so it is the last node sort of okay now in the next third iteration it will cu current node next will be that node and current node is equal to the new node yeah that's right actually we can optimize this by moving this out Get this okay now uh, once we have all the so till here we have got a uh, linked list singly linked list now to make it circular what we will do current node dot next is equal to head okay so the last node next will be assigned to head now this is our this we have got the circular singly linked list okay now let's uh, last node. let's create a method so we will pass the we will create a method Uh, uh, 
making this list as circular okay <coughs> this block we are we will do the uh, this part while loop so let's do this if head is equal to null then just simply return null okay so the table is empty sort of else if head so this is for just uh, only one element head dot uh, next is equal to null so this if only one element is there then we will Initially, this is uh, 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 table is empty, circular table is empty, so we are returning null. So, if head next is equal to null, okay, we are simply actually it should not be null, it should be. because this is circular link list so uh, next should point to in case of only one node it will point to itself okay <coughs> if this is for one else if if two nodes are there then also there is no need to do anything we just uh, return the first element because first uh, head node will have the gun and it will kill the second one so what we will do here head dot next dot next is equal to head correct so return head again actually we can combine this right yes optimizing it first place let's combine this simply return the head now if more than two elements are there this is the code Let's, so actually that was uh, the C++ version of uh, explanation but we can do this way also So, uh, sorry, no, I forgot to copy the while, while head dot next not equal to head right, should be like this, I think so, okay, uh, yes, here. Cool. 
ಮಾಡ್ತಿ so let's first start with only one enter number of ports only one the output should be okay i had one so yeah okay so in one case it's working and like two about id one two so in this case one okay in case of three first will kill the second one and uh, this will kill the first one and uh, i think uh, three should be answer no it's one first will kill the uh, this second bot and bot uh, three will have no bot three will kill uh, okay wait. okay so actually we did not put i did not put to uh, here this uh, cut me presses that's why it was doing it in a wrong way let's run it again uh, 3 2 okay so in this case 3 first will kill second pass on pass the gun to third one third will kill first one so third will be the what will happen to four in this case i think first will kill second sec uh, third third will kill fourth uh, i think bot one will remain in the last in case of four bots four yeah bot one will remain what happens in case of five Yeah so that's it uh, thanks for watching